Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznuz here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about some bosses in RuneScape that are absolutely amazing to kill right now for money. Some of these bosses, the drops for them have gone up quite a bit over the past year, and looking at some of these actually shocked me how in 2023, they've gotten even better to kill for money while getting easier to kill as well. I also just wanted to say that YouTube has put out some new monetization policies. It's changed a lot of things, and a ton of us have been seeing big revenue revenue drops recently. As someone who does this full time now after graduating, a 30% decrease in revenue can feel like a big hit. I never really mentioned my channel memberships on videos, but after seeing what's happening recently, I thought I'd at least mention it here as an option. If you want to support my channel and get some cool perks, some even some free merch for some of the higher tiers, you can join my channel memberships and get exclusive perks by clicking the join button below. It's anywhere from $1.99 per month all the way up to some higher options. And this will help support the channel and in these downtimes help me continue doing this full time. Again, it's just optional. You don't have to do it, but I appreciate everyone that has subscribed to the memberships. Thank you all for the support as always. And let's get into this video because uh, it's actually super interesting to me. So the first boss that really shocked me, some of the uniques have gone up massively for this is Araxor. Now I haven't done Araxor in quite a long time, so the last I knew these drops were nowhere near this expensive. Uh, the last time I did this, I did Araxor for a kill or two here or there on certain videos, but I finished my Araxor log in like 2020 and really had like no reason to continue doing the boss. But when I looked at the spider leg price, I was like, what in the world? The spider leg is now going for over 280 mil is about an 100 mil increase over the past year. And if you look at Araxi weapons themselves, Noxious Staff is like 300 mil plus, which I feel like the Nox Staff was under 200 mil not too long ago. And then even the Noxious Longbow is over 350 mil, which I guess kind of makes sense because all the new arrows came out. Uh, you have big arrows for poison, which is really, really good. So it kind of makes sense why that has gone up. And then Scythe is over 400 mil now, because if you look at something like Telos, for example, the Zeros God Sword and the Staff of Sliske are around the 400 mil mark, which again is not really that far off of the price of the Noxious Staff and the Noxious Scythe, which is just wild to see because I remember not too many years ago, the Staff of Sluske and the ZGS were like five or six times the price of their Noxious counterparts, and now they're very similar in price. And I mean, the normal loot for a Raxor, while it's not insanely good, it's still decent. You have Onyx Bolts, which are always good. Then you have Brew Flask, which of course are always going to give you some nice GP. And with Power Creep that has happened over the years, a Raxi is easier to kill than ever. And I mean, I don't want to make you guys feel old, but I might be making you feel old here. A Raxi is almost a decade old. Yes, a decade old. It was released in 2014, so nine years ago, which is crazy to think about. But if you're looking for a boss log to complete to make a good amount of money, Araxor on average is over 3 million GP a kill right now, which for how old the boss is, it's really, really good. So two more places that have silently gotten better and better are Elite Dungeons, but nope, not Elite Dungeon 3, actually the first two Elite Dungeons. I know we think of doing the Shadow Reef, having those huge drops, but the first two Elite Dungeons, you know, sneakily have actually gotten better and better. Now ED1 of course has the Ancient Scales, and while those were usually around the 800k each range, and sometimes they would trickle up to the 1 million GP each range, these recently have gone to over 1.2 million GP each, which is absolutely absurd. They are gotten always from killing Siryu in ED1. Now on average, you're probably going to get around 12 to 13 scales per kill. This is on average, so this does account for the doubling of scales and also the huge like 100 plus scale drops you can get. But this means every run of the Temple of Aminchi, you're going to get around 14 million GP in just these scales alone. And some people can do 3 or 4 or even more runs per hour, which is like 50 7 mil GP per hour just in the scales. That doesn't count all the other normally you can get. So with Ancient Scales being close to an all-time high, they've never been higher than 1.3 mil GP each, so they're getting very close. Now is a great time to do some ED1. And in the same vein, you also have Elite Dungeon 2, which 
While not as expensive as the ancient scales, the Blackstone Dragon drops Draconic Energy, and this is also nearing an all-time high of over 600k each, which, like Siryu, you're gonna get an average of around 13 energy per kill in the long run, which is like 8 mil GP every single kill the Blackstone Dragon. Plus, unlike ED1, the Dragonkin Laboratory and the Blackstone Dragon also has rare drops like the Greater Barge, the Greater Flurry, and the Greater Fury Codex. And the Fury Codex has actually gone up quite a bit over the past year or so, going to around 210 mil each. It's now more expensive than the Greater Barge Codex, which was not the case previously. So this is another very great option if you're in the mood for some elite dungeons. You should definitely take advantage and farm out some of these, because even if you're unlucky, if you don't have great RNG, if you don't get that big drop, you're still going to make so much money off the normal energies and skills, so going dry doesn't really matter because you're just going to make a ton of money no matter what, and it's just all around a great time to do some elite dungeons. So next, I want to talk about one of my personal favorite bosses ever in RuneScape, a boss that I'm kind of jealous that the prices are going in the manner which they are because uh, I did a ton of this boss before when the prices weren't as good, and that is Raksha. Now, the thing about Raksha is Raksha drops, most notably, boots like Laceration Boots, Fleeting Boots, Blast Diffusion Boots, which aren't worth that much, but Raksha also drops the three codexes, Greater Ricochet, Greater Chain, and the Divert Ability Codex. Now, when Raksha first came out, and during the past, you know, year, year and a half, uh, the thing you wanted from Raksha, it was basically Greater Ricochet or Bust. That is what you wanted. That was the goal. That was the huge drop over a billion GP that you wanted to get, and it's what essentially carried Raksha's GP per hour. Uh, but you also had the Greater Chain, which at the time was not near what it is now. In the past year, Greater Chain has gone from under 200 mil to an all-time high of over 700 million GP, putting it almost on par with Greater Ricochet as a big drop. Now, for someone like me, if you look at my Raksha log, I've actually gotten quite a few Greater Chain drops. And whenever I got these, I was actually pretty sad because when I got these, these were 100 mil, 175 mil, some of them were duo, and it just felt so sad like I just missed a greater ricochet, and it wasn't exciting at all. But nowadays, if you get a greater chain drop, that's basically a greater ricochet drop. It's only a few hundred mil less. It's basically on the same, you know, uh, the same stratosphere where you can actually get super excited about a greater chain drop. So basically, the only dud you have now is you don't want to get the divert ability which is 16 mil so while Raksha hasn't dramatically increased by like double in the GP per hour now than it was before it does feel so much more balanced and just makes me more excited to do the boss because of the fact that it's not like you're going for just one drop it's like I need the greater ricochet or any other drop is really not that much now you have two core drops that are both close to a billion GP that are both very good and it makes it feel a bit more balanced that hey if you're not super lucky you don't have to just rely on getting that one drop or bus drop you have another option in getting the greater chain ability so that's why Raksha to me right now feels super strong to do uh, not only that but the regular drops are decent as well like for instance, one drop when I was doing Raksha that caught me by surprise, just a normal drop is Dinosaur Bones. Dinosaur Bones were like 9 to 10k each, and now they're almost 18k each, and that makes the Dinosaur Bone drop like 1.5 mil as a drop from Raksha compared to like the 7-800k it was before. So while not anything huge, uh, seeing a drop like this go up in price, and uh, it's not a super uncommon drop from Raksha, so seeing something like that is nice as well. Raksha just if I could recommend like any boss to go and do if you want to make a bunch of money uh, I would definitely recommend Raksha number one also the fact that Raksha is much easier to do now there are ways that you can do Raksha fully with revolution I think Protox made a guide on doing Raksha uh, with revolution I think I've seen some reddit guides on how you can melee Raksha uh, fully with revolution I think some even might have that you can like camp soul split you don't have to prayer flick uh, Raksha is a lot more 
accessible now than it was and having these two drops basically on the same level now it just feels like such a great boss and even though I have the log completed I think I'm still going to do more just because uh, you can't really beat these drops. And that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, these are some bosses that I think are fantastic right now for money. Are there any other bosses that seem to have you know got a little buff or gotten a bit you know the drops have gotten a bit more expensive? Let me know in the comments below and yeah again the channel memberships are linked in the description or you can click the join button if you want to help support the channel thank you guys for all the support thanks for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one